Просто дрип. Это дрип. Это гениально. Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. In today's video guys, we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're doing a Russian ghetto dorm tour with the man, the legend himself. Uh, you, them. <laughs> you guys may remember him from another video we did in which I interviewed him. Uh, he's, uh, you know, a black Russian. I interviewed him about uh, li life and growing up black in Russia. And today, uh, he's given me a tour. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. Today he's given me a tour of his dormitory in which he lives. Uh, you know, he studies here in Chelyabinsk and he doesn't have his own apartment. So uh, he said there's a lot of interesting stuff he could show to us and <laughs> the drip. Let's just the look drip. at the drip first of all. Yes. Amazing. Uh, let's get into it and check it out. Here we are in the uh, Soviet hallway of a Soviet dormitory. So let's check out the shower, I guess. Okay. Well, I, well, it's the worst place here. <laughs> I swear. Wait, so what kind of shower is this? <laughs> Where are you taking me? This is like... This is like... <laughs> He's taking me to his rape dungeon or something. What is this? <laughs> so, this is dude. This is the back rooms. Yeah. L listen. <laughs> this is this is spooky, man. This is spooky. This out of five shower boxes. Yeah. Only one has light, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> and I guess like two or three of them are. Working. So this is the only one that gets used basically because it's the only well, one that has lights in it, right? Drain gang man. That's why the CEO man. Legendary drain member man. One, two. <laughs> the smell, my guy. The smell. Yeah, it smells like it smells like uh, old, very old pipes in there. Do you have an idea where this, uh, when, like, what year maybe this dormitory was built at all? Oh, uh, I guess it was built like in fifties, something like that. Okay. Okay. Ну ты здесь тоже моешься, правильно? Конечно. Окей. Вот здесь, кстати, я не знаю. Это как фитнес Что это? Это звучит как... Что это? He d the, even he doesn't know where we are. This is, a, this is some stalker. I feel like I'm literally in Chernobyl right now. Choreography class, what the fuck? Okay, gym number one, choreography class number one. <laughs> Even even Yefrem has never been here in his life. Wow, this is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, we're going to the end until we get killed. Hello. <laughs> we just got kicked out off camera because we were making a lot of noise in the corridor and apparently there's like some kind of class happening or something. So. Uh... Entering the trap zone. <laughs> This is your room, right? Yeah. <laughs> literally, says, literally says trap on the top. Who allowed you to do this? It, no one. <laughs> okay, here we are. What up, YouTube? It's MTV Creeps. We are here with my boy Roman. <laughs> What is this? I've been living here for like three years okay. and the thing is that I just got kind of bored for living in such such a gray place. Okay. And I decided to like make it a little bit interesting. Do you ever think if you're gonna at some point when you're gonna have to uh, get out of this uh, get out of this place they're gonna make you like pain over or something or they just don't care? Well the thing is that the, the head mistress of this place got fired okay. for corruption <laughs> like basically Classic. so she just got kicked out and we got a new one okay and she doesn't know whether i bought these wallpapers or they <laughs> have been there oh, okay okay if she asked me to like pay yeah. this shit i'll just tell so you, that you didn't these, do it that i bought the these wallpapers and they belong to me so <laughs> wow the absolute finesse going on in this I don't uh, care. <laughs> well, nice soviet bunk beds as we as we can see right here a bit of soviet carpet as well i love it first of all what, what i'm noticing is they painted even over the, <laughs> the even the poor microwave 
hasn't as it, it hasn't stood a chance. I mean, this is this right here is very everything is very Soviet. So yeah, great Soviet table. It's kind of like we had these kinds of school. Oh. <laughs> we get it. You have sex. We get it. Okay? I don't. You use the entire place as like a canvas, basically. Yeah. So you've turned it into this is sick. Like we just have a. Uh, a nice little dangling uh, <laughs> Lenin's uh, <laughs> Lenin's uh, little lamp. Because what's the lighting? What's the lighting situation here? Like, let's let's. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't even have lights. What is this? <laughs> By the way, we're in the center of Chelyabinsk, so you have quite a good location, to be completely honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just to clarify, right? You don't. You, do you pay anything to live in this? Yeah, we pay like three thousand rubles per year. It's like it's like okay. ten rubles a day, right? Okay. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Basically, three thousand rubles a year. I'd say that's about like probably like forty dollars. So you pay forty dollars a year yeah. to live in this place. Here's a question to you guys: Would you live in a place like this for forty dollars a year? I think the I think the answer should be yes. Fuck you. <laughs> he just leaves. How is he? I did, dude. Here's the thing. Like this is actually a class difference right here. You see, because he's about to kill him. There you go. I've never lived in a dormitory myself, and I don't really even know what it's like to have cockroaches or insects <laughs> in your place. So I was actually surprised now. To, I, I just wanted to ask you, how is he? I, I was surprised to see that cockroaches can climb, can like literally climb walls. <laughs> I don't know. I, did, I didn't know they could. They can. <laughs> this this video is opening up so much new information for me. This is amazing. <laughs> I just noticed this. Oh. What kind of weapon is this? Well, if someone I feel talks, like I could slice my hand with this probably. It's this a is, London thing. <laughs> this is a self yeah, this is a self defense. Well, if someone talks shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, that's nice, that's it. Ah, это что, какая то умывалка? Here again guys, very very Soviet stuff. People are doing their laundry here, I guess. And uh a lot of Soviet Soviet sinks and Soviet mirror. I don't know who is this supposed to be for. I'm just doing my wash up or whatever. What is this? I'm supposed to go like this? <laughs> what is this? It's like my morning routine standing like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. I like that. Minion. Nice. That's a good Man, it's like the best place to trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is nice. I mean, people are doing uh, some artistry. It was, it was yeah. SpongeBob. That's what it was. Yeah. Right. Look at these. Look at these Soviet uh, stoves, by the way. Are these Soviets? Oh yeah, I turned off. Vlada Lux. I don't think that they are. Omichka. Show for scale again. Me, for example. Look how tiny this is. Cooking. <laughs> it's like everybody in the Soviet Union was like five feet and under. There you go. Uh, some inclusivity. Different languages. Uh, oh. Captain Jack Sparrow. Man. This looks fantastic. We got a little bit of anime and uh, <laughs> exposed Soviet tiles. This is like Chernobyl stuff right here. Man, they leave like I'm kind of scared of sitting on this if it's gonna. There you go. <laughs> Guys, Amogus. <laughs> Even at the Russian dormitory, you cannot escape the Amogus. It says the room 218 has. Uh, but it's sus, basically. It's an imposter. <laughs> Man, amazing. Amazing. I love it. Basically, what I'm understanding from uh, this visit in this dormitory is that everybody here in the dormitory kind of has the, uh, the freedom to do whatever they want, right? To their... Uh, to their room because you've seen what his room looks like absolute shit show so everybody in here has the uh, freedom i guess to do whatever they want to their room paint the door paint the insides in any way they want and i guess literally nobody cares to upkeep this place properly so nobody even asks a bad denial or asks questions if they destroy their room like he did so <laughs> just you know the the most the creativity comes out out of people the most in these dorm rooms amazing as you can see the uh Everything's coming off the walls a little bit. Ah, it's a special. Okay. So your friend just uh, invited me or led me into their uh, Soviet gym here that's located in the, uh, in the dormitory. It's literally located in a hallway. 
uh, of the fifth floor right here. So yeah, uh, give us a little tour. What do you have? What do you do? Well, I have a barbell. It is like 30 years old, I guess, 1986. Oh yeah, oh wow, it even says a date right here. That's pretty sick, that's nice. Border Bankrupt is freaking out right now. Beautiful. <laughs> Soviet Soviet barber. Soviet barber. I don't even know what these things are what these things are called in English, to be honest, guys. You know I don't work out, I don't bench press. Actually, I don't these don't words are not even in my vocabulary <laughs> in Russian or English. What's who's this bet for? <laughs> Thanks. Do you ever lay down on here when you're like tired after a workout? Yeah, yeah, I just sit here. All you need to stay in shape is a barbell and a couple of these. Yeah, I guess. Or just not eat. That's the way I do it. <laughs> I'm not even in shape, but you know. You didn't just bring me to the gym to not do like a rep or something. Or have you already done your workout for today? Come on, come on. Oh, we need it for the video. We need it for the video. This one is for you guys. Yes. Soviet gym, drip. Let's go. <laughs> no, no warm up. <laughs> Yes. You know, guys, I don't, I don't have a single muscle on my, on my arm. What is this? Damn. This is pathetic, right? Let's, can I even, can I even... There you go, guys. I work out. <laughs> That's enough. I got my workout for the week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at this. Like, every single door, basically, in this dormitory is like an exhibition of street art. Someday, maybe, if, if like, something happens to the university or like, I don't know. If there's ever, if, there's, if they ever want to shut down this building or change it from being a dormitory, they could literally turn this place into to like an art exhibition. And your room, my man, I know, <laughs> is going to be the most valuable thing. I know that for sure. Okay, well, like, how old are these? What is this, man? <laughs> this is straight up like Chernobyl type stuff. This is older than, like, probably my grandparents. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Right wing. <laughs> 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 right wing, fifth floor. <laughs> the most base place. The most base place in this entire dormitory. <laughs> what is this? Can you tell us? What, this is again something from Chernobyl. I've seen this in every kitchen. What is this? This is uh, the ventilation thing. Oh, really? Okay, I see. Jesus. Wow, the ventilation here. Yeah. I don't really think it's in a good state, is it? <laughs> yeah, here. Oh, okay, I see. I think it would have been better. I've been be would have been better off if I didn't see you guys, but <laughs> dude, this is a health hazard. <laughs> to be completely honest, found this. Oh no! <laughs> this is me in an alternative reality when I would have went to the. It's army. actually from Kazakhstan. Hey, yo, Captain Jack. <laughs> oh, not... it is. Yeah. Okay, sick. Kazakhstani army drip right here. Nice camel. I like that. Everything right here that you have in this dorm room, it's like there's like stuff right in his in his room. He doesn't even know what it is. It's like. It's literally just stuff maybe from like 30 years ago from somebody who lived there like 10 years, I don't know, 10 oh, years ago. I don't know who owns this yoga carpet. It's like, <laughs> or has it's it like... ever been used? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get bed bugs from the majority of the stuff. I'm looking at intention here in this place, man. Look at that. We got the <laughs> Gucci. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, it does say Gucci. <laughs> Let's go! There you go. When you go, when you get into the Russian dome, you get Gucci for free. This is amazing. This is incredible. We got the Tims. Tims. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! These are not yours. Just to no. clarify, you don't even know. Life. Yeah, you don't even know what who's who's the who who owns this. Whoever owned this. Empty jars. Yeah, some tin foil. We know what you're doing in here. <laughs> we know what you're doing in here. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, <laughs> I guess that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video of this tour of the Russian uh, ghetto dormitory I think it was a fun time, uh, a lot of really cool stuff I don't know what my homie is on right now, you know, he's trying I'm to... playing Russian guy <laughs> you know I'm Yeah, saying. he's shaving Russian style Thank you everybody so much for watching today's video If you guys did enjoy this little IRL vlog tour, whatever First of all, thank you Frem for inviting me out here and, uh, you know, make, giving me some content You know, follow his Instagram, you know, the link will be down in the description, whatever yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap the like on this video, you know, support my Patreon if you want to support my channel, buy my uses and all that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Come on, where is it? Peace. Peace. There you go, there you go. <laughs>